on in the press. All right, Jordan. U.S. denies change in conditions for negotiation with Iran. Houston Chronicle, U.S. Iran preparing new proposals for nuclear dispute. UK. Russia says it has not provided the sophisticated missile system to Iran. And Israel says it will wait until the end of this year for Obama to try to stop Iran. Magad, Jordan. Egypt's foreign minister Abu Ghaid accuses Hezbollah of trying to penetrate Egypt's security apparatus. Jerusalem Post, Israel, Egypt, Hezbollah will pay heavy price. Ashak al-Assad, UK, Lebanon's Prime Minister Fouad Siniora requested official information from the Egyptian ambassador regarding Hezbollah's activities in Egypt. Al-Jamia, Iraq. A new campaign of arrests in Iran against women, intellectuals, and journalists is underway. Christian Post, U.S. Iran makes excuses to keep two Christian women in jail. Samayeh, Tehran. The government's debts to the banks has increased to 36%. The United Nations has analyzed the situation in 108 countries. Women's empowerment in Iran ranks 103. And the dollar passes the 1,000 Toman mark. Resalat, Tehran. The Supreme Leader says the great powers prevent regional ties. And Mir Hossein Mousavi, presidential candidate, says no one in Iran accepts suspension of uranium enrichment. These stories and more at televisionwashington.com.